Hi, I'm Mandy Simon from Big Dogs at Sierra Zeta, and today I'm doing roach boxes. I'm cleaning them all out and I'm doing them over. So what you will need is 85 litre tub or anything smaller depending on your demand of roaches. You will need a lid. You need to cut it out and then glue gun some mesh on top of it. And your egg trays. Wood shavings. I always give them a little bit of a treat. It's jelly and for those of you that don't know Roaches do like treats and they can taste and they can actually drool. Yes, they can drool when they smell something sweet. This is a turkey stun box. Um, I'm not quite finished with it. I just added some. If you are going to do something that's going to fly like kisses or pallet lobsters, um, your Durban roaches, your cape or whatever. And you have to put a thin layer of Vaseline over the top here so they can't climb out. Um, olive oil, baby oil, stuff like that will also work. Then you have to put some gel in for them. Not glue glue gla gel or gla gla or whatsoever they call it. If you have a tub of glue glue gel, just take it, throw it in a dustbin, get yourself real gel, take a neutral gel. So it's basically just starch, it's not anything plastic. It's not polyacrylate like the other gels, it's not for plants, it's made for animals. You don't use stuff that you make for plants and animals. Now I know this has been using for years and years and eventually a tarantula will die and you will think, oh maybe it was the heat, maybe I didn't look after it, maybe something went wrong and all this is basically your gel that you used. Okay, so I'm just quickly making you this video. I have a lot of roach boxes to do over, basically about 80 or something. But I just thought while I'm doing it, I might as well show you how to do it. And also you can put in insect cut load. Um, Leaping Lettuce has a very good insect cut load you can use. And then you put in a, a little bit of fruit, if you like, or something that doesn't go off, like potatoes or avo or stuff like that. You basically, or banana, that will also go off. So your best would be high protein food, like the insect cut loads from these Leaping Lizards. Or cat food, fish food, also high in protein, and any citrus fruits when they are in season. That will be your best bet. So, anyways, I'll tell you later more about the roaches I keep and how to care for them. But this is just your basic breeding box. You will need some heat in the winter, otherwise they are not going to breed. Um, but I also my room is always 34 and up. It's never below that my spider room simply because I have euromastics and stuff in here and those spiders don't die at that temperature so I don't even want to hear that nonsense as you can see my spiders are all perfectly fine in this heat and as you can see I do have the heater on right there and it is summertime now it is December so and I've got the lights on and everything so spiders do perfectly fine in a higher heat your avix, you can keep them lower to the ground if you are a bit scared of them, but mine is right up there, all the long cages, so they are doing perfectly fine. So anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll keep you updated. You can also use some peat if you like for the substrate, depending on how many you are got to breed and how easy you want to take them out. Like my channel, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.